Welcome back to At Your Leisure, our land use special with our special co-host, Mike Swenson from USA All. And uh, we've tracked quite a bit north from Lester. You arms tired from flying? Yeah. <laughs> we are actually in Big Cottonwood Canyon at the Mineral Fork Trail. This is the only ATV trail actually in Salt Lake County that's currently open. The next time this comes up for an RMP on the Forest Service side, mm -hmm. this could become subject to closure, is that right? Very likely, very likely. In fact, that actually is the point of our conversation for this segment of the show, is the fact that currently there are, how many, six? Six. Six, six BLM field offices that are doing their resource management plan, which will include their travel plans, and will right. include how we can access public lands for recreation whether you like motorized or non-motorized, right. it is the time to pay attention. Now, the comment period's closed? They are. Um, we, we have six field offices. Okay. We've got Moab, right. Price, Vernal, Richfield, Kanab, and Monticello, all in various phases of the planning process. Mm -hmm. However, as you mentioned, the public comment period is over in all those field offices. But there still is opportunity for people to get involved, and I would argue be even more effectively than the public comment. For people out there with concerns to register uh, those concerns and, and maybe affect the final outcome of the plan. How what, would that work? Well, what they can do, uh, they can contact, there's two, two parties that they need to contact, and it's not the BLM directly. They need to contact their local county commissioners. Now, county commissioners and state agencies have cooperating agency status in these RMPs, meaning they can be involved at levels that the general public can't. They need to contact their county commissioners and say, I've got an issue here, a problem here, we want this, we don't want that. They also especially need to contact the governor. Not only is the state, the governor, a cooperating agency in these plans, but the governor has opportunity to do a consistency review. He has a chance to go and really get into the meat of this issue even after it's final. They need to call the governor's office and say, Governor, we want you to support our county commissioners. We want you to do what is best for us in rural Utah. Governor Huntsman has a special status um, along with county commissioners as cooperating agencies. He has involvement to a very in-depth degree and if they will call him, he needs to advocate for you. He is your elected representative and he needs to know what you want so that he can put that forth to the BLM. Okay, well there you have it. We'll have more of the land use planning special. We're going to the Firebrand, the place that really started all of this land use stuff a decade ago. We'll be there in just a minute while you take this commercial break.